everyone, it's Wendy. So I'm going to tell you what's in the pack this week. So I've included some more conversation starters and with some tips to help conversations. So let's have a look today. Would you rather ride on a boat or ride on a train and why? For me, it's a train, especially a steam train. Because they're great when they go chugging along and they go slowly and you can feel the smoke coming past your window. Have you ever been on one? Tell, tell your friend about it and have a go. Okay. Also, we're going to, as I promised last week, I've done more visual timetables at home. So, we've got playground. A surprise. That would be a nice one to put up, wouldn't it? Bedtime and prayers. And on this one, we've got tablet time, feed the dog, walk the dog, and swim in. Now I'm going to show you how to make this in a little while. A spiral snowman. He twirls round and round, okay? Now I've put a colouring of a Christmas jumper, like that in. And then I've put like a blank Christmas jumper. So you could pretend that this is your design and you were going to make that design. So see what you could design a Christmas jumper. I think I'd have Christmas trees on mine and possibly angels. What do you think you would have on yours? Here's a Christmas elf word search. got a recipe this week which I'm going to show you later it's called star mallow treats and they look nice don't they and they're dead easy to make so I'm going to show you them later there's a spot all these things here on this bit here lot so let's see what can I help you with oh, I think he's quite a hard one Rudolph can you see where Rudolph is on the picture? He's there, look, he's just peeping in from outside. I've put some colour in, two colourings for you. I've got this sheet, why not draw a picture and write a few words to Santa? And then if you cut this envelope out and fold your letter up, you'll be able to send it to Santa at the North Pole. This is Christmas tree counting. You have to count all the things I can see. One, two, three, four bows. So you put a number four in there and then you add them all up at the end. So that's like a little ad thing. Now, this is a little game I've put in. You just need a dice. So you have to roll the dice and add the numbers together and then colour what answer you've got. So if you rolled a two and a three on two dice, you'd add, you'd colour your five. And then it's, if two people play, you can see who's got the most coloured at the end of, um, that when they're all coloured in and that's the winner, okay? And colour by numbers is my last one. So someone on the sledge. And then just colour the numbers in. And those are numbers down there, so that's easy. So I hope you have a good week. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.